And to know from the Midlands of England, the venue for this match is Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. And so the battle commences. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Jorginho plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. McGinn. Wendia. And he's won the ball. Jorginho. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. Tyrone Mings. Cash. Buendia. John McGinn. Ashley Young. It's with El Ghazi. This looks promising. An attack full of promise. Keeper's ball every day of the week. Mateo Kovacic. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Young. There to win it back. Threaded through by Lukaku. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And then from that sort of range, he's never going to miss that. Easy finish in the end. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. A disappointing end to the move. Mateo Kovacic. Here's Kovacic. What can Chelsea do from this position? Possession one. High pressing at its best. Douglas Luiz. Well, they're getting right on top of their opponents at every turn. Jorginho. Mateo Kovacic. Romelu Lukaku now. Jorginho. Ball's gone. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, Chelsea would be happy if it stays like this. Still some work to do in the second half, though. With the clock ticking down before their half-time cup of tea, it's important the players stay concentrated.
Emiliano Buendia. It's with El Ghazi. And the right place to cut out the pass. Lukaku. Jorginho. Really well played pass. He's in behind. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. That is that for the first half here. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. So they get the ball rolling in the second half and Chelsea hoping to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Jorginho. Romelu Lukaku now. Mateo Kovacic. Kai Havertz. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. And a strong tackle. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Traore. Bertrand Traore has it. Oh, in with a chance. And a goal. Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, Derek, that tells you all you need to know about this group of players. Great team spirit, fantastic stuff. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines, but he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Yes, yeah, a show of emotion, and why not? They're back in this, game on. Even Steven won a piece on this match. For Aston Villa, number 16, Bertrand Traore. Aspili Quetta. Chelsea really have been dominating possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. A very good tackle. Mateo Kovacic. Romelu Lukaku now. Werner. Marcos Alonso. Werner. It is now with Jorginho. Kovacic! And finishing there with more of a whimper than a bang. Derek, that reminded me of you finishing like that. It's just terrible. I wouldn't have done that well. <laughs> Anwar El Ghazi. A really effective shielding under pressure. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Douglas Luis. Werner. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Jorginho. Werner with it now. 
Lukaku! And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Romelu Lukaku. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. Douglas Luiz. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. And they've won possession again. Well, body in the way. Jorginho. The ball with Marcos Alonso. Werner. Jorginho. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Douglas Luiz. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Chance to play it in. Oh, that's a fine pass. Ings and possession given away and with that the referee blows for full time not the outcome Villa fans were hoping for three points dropped Lee well I guess they might feel a little hard done by by today's result not a great deal between the two teams but that winning goal will have knocked the stuffing out of this lot I can tell you that well he is a player with the capacity to enthrall Timo Werner Lee, let's get your assessment as regards his performance in this game. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.